Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's try to find the area between curves when the curves are defined by trigonometric functions. So here we have one function where y equals the cosine of x and the other function is y equals the sine of 2x. And notice because of the fast repetition of the sine of 2x we have the two areas that are defined between them between the line x equals 0 which is the y-axis and the point right here where they meet. So let's find out where they meet over here and also where they meet over here because notice that on the left side this area let's call it a1 we have y1 being the upper side of the dA and over here for area let's call it a2 we have the other function y equals the sine of 2x being on the upper side of that uh, little area element dA so we're going to have to integrate this twice once for a1 and once for a2 so we do have to find the limits of our integration so we're going to set the two functions equal to each other, y1 equals to y2, which we have right here. And let's go ahead and then try to find the values for x where they are the same value for y. So first of all, we can rewrite this as the cosine of x is equal to 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x. Now notice we have the cosine of x equals something times the cosine of x. Now, if the cosine of x is equal to 0, then the left side will equal the right side. So one option is that the cosine of x is equal to 0, which implies that x must be equal to 90 degrees or pi over 2. So that's this point right here. When x equals pi over 2, then the y value uh, is the same for both functions. The second possibility, or is to divide both sides by the cosine of x. When we do that, we get 1 equals 2 times the sine of x, or 1 half equals the sine of x. And to find the proper value for that, that would mean that the angle x has to be 30 degrees, because the sine of 30 degrees is 1 half, which also means that x is equal to pi over 6. And so that would be this point right there. So there we have the point x equals pi over 6 and x equals pi over 2. So the limits of integration for a1 is going to go from 0 to pi over 6. The limits of integration for a2 will be from pi over 6 to pi over 2. So to find a1 that is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 6 of y1 minus y2. So when you want to look at that area element right here, I think I have it defined right here. So dA is going to be y1 minus y2 times dx. So y1 minus y2 times dx. And of course, these are x limits. And now when we will plug in what these are. This is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 6 of y1, which is the cosine of x, minus y2, which is the sine of 2x times dx. So when we integrate this, we really should break this up into two separate integrals. So this becomes equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 6 of the cosine of x dx, and then minus the integral of the sine of 2x dx from 0 to pi over 6. Notice I left a little bit of room here because we do have to find the proper differential. To integrate the sine of 2x, we're going to need a 2 dx, so that means we need a 1 half in front to compensate for the 2 that we put in there. And then the integral of the cosine is the sine, but the integral of the sine is the negative cosine, so this will negate this negative sine, become positive, so this becomes equal to the sine of x plus 1 half times the cosine of 2x, all evaluated from 0 to pi over 6. Since the Limits of integration are the same for both. So we'll plug in the upper limit. We get the sine of pi over 6 plus 1 half times the cosine of 2 times pi over 6, which is pi over 3. And then subtract from that, when we plug in the lower limit, the sine of 0, which of course is 0, plus 1 half times the cosine of 0. I think now we can evaluate this. The sine of pi over 6, that would be equal to 1 half, because that's a sine of 30 degrees. The cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half times 1 half is a fourth. And then we subtract from that minus the sine of 0 is 0, but here the cosine of 0 is 1, 
one half times one is one half and subtract one half from that so that's one half and notice one half minus one half cancels out and we get one quarter for area one so for the first area from zero to pi over six that is equal to one quarter now we need to find the area a2 so let's do that over here so a2 is equal to the integral from pi over six to pi over two and notice in this case the area element dA here is defined as y2 minus y1 it's in reverse so that would be y2 minus y1 times dx and of course these are x limits and then we plug in what y2 and y1 are equal to so y2 is equal to the sine of 2x so this becomes equal to the integral of the sine of 2x minus y1 which is the cosine of x times dx and from pi over 6 this is a 6 right here to pi over 2 so now we're going to write this again like two separate integrals so this becomes equal to the integral of the sine of 2x times dx and notice I left a little space in here from pi over 6 to pi over 2 and then minus the integral of the cosine of x times dx again from pi over 6 to pi over 2 and now the reason why we left a little space is because here I need the proper differential to the x and I need a one half here to compensate so now I'm ready to integrate both integrals and this one here the sine of 2x so we integrate we should get the negative cosine of 2x times one half so this is equal to minus one half times the cosine of 2x and then here the integral of the cosine is the sine but we have the negative in front here so that's minus the sine of x evaluated from pi over 6 to pi over 2 so now let's plug in the upper limit we plug in the cosine of 2 times pi over 2 so you have minus 1 half times the cosine of 2 times pi over 2 which is pi minus the sine of pi over 2 and now subtract from that when we plug in the lower limit so we have the uh, uh, we have one half here but we have a minus one half times the cosine of twice pi over six which is the cosine of pi over three Oop, three I should have let me put a line over here so we don't get confused here and then we have uh, a minus we plug in the lower limit here so that would be open oh, no, up upper limit minus the lower limit so we have the sine of pi over 6 to the sine of 30 degrees like so and now let's evaluate what those are so this is equal to the cosine of pi is negative 1 times a minus 1 half that's a positive 1 half here the sine of pi over 2 that's 1 so that would be minus 1 here a minus times a minus becomes plus the cosine of pi over 3 that's 60 degrees that's 1 half and that would times one half is one quarter like that and then minus times a minus that's plus again and the sine of pi over six that's uh, 30 degrees that would be also that would be one half okay so we have one half plus one half is one minus one is zero and that's also a quarter which is interesting so a2 the area is equal to a quarter a1 is equal to a quarter so the total area is simply the sum of the two so let's see here I can put that over here so a equals a1 plus a2 so in this case that was one quarter plus one quarter which is equal to one half so the total area of both of these summed together strangely enough they were equal in size is equal to one half for the total area of both a1 plus a2 and so that's how that's done using trigonometric functions